Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of XCOM Long War Impossible. I'm Falag and today we are going to be taking on a Town Raider. I think it's gonna be a pretty standard mission, but uh, I hope you noticed that I've installed a new mod, it's called SweetFX and it's supposed to make graphics better, I haven't seen how it uh, looks so far other than the menus and the base, but I hope it's gonna be really nice. And uh, yeah, we've already taken down a raider, which was <laughs> and uh, one landed, one crashed, so it uh, wasn't as easy as I would uh, be thinking. So I think that this one is gonna be either a really tough mission or a really easy one, because it, uh, the previous missions that weren't very hard were indicating that uh, either the aliens are running on fumes and simply don't have anything and they are uh, launching missions to get some resources or they were just saving it for this one last big thing and by the way after this raider there is a scout flying but I have nothing but uh, stingray missile interceptors to send so I will be not doing that I'm just gonna let it fly and then deal with the uh, uh, UFO that comes after that to find my satellites. Simple as that. And yes, right now I'm taking some of the lower people. I have some specialists, I have lance corporals, some sergeants, but I also have uh, to uh, tough people like Shobande or Poseidon. And uh, I hope I can get some opportunities to crack some heads and bring some, bring some people alive. I do take only three of the arc throwers. I have another arc thrower in the inventory, but I'm not taking it. I don't simply think there is gonna be that many opportunities to catch something. If anything, I'm gonna have three opportunities to catch one alien and fail three times because you know that's me. Strike one. Prepare for landing. By the way, I wonder what a low flying Our target site is, is near the German border. It looks like the alien crash site is in a remote area. If we move quickly. We may be able to secure the site before the aliens have time to regroup. And yeah, you might be thinking like, Hey Falek, what are you doing telling us that the mission is gonna be easy? Well, I do not believe in false advertising and I'm not gonna tell you that Oh no, this mission is gonna be super hard and I'm in so much trouble. Well, I'm really not because uh, I know that it builds tension and whatnot, but after a while you would just know it that I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking kidding you and I'm not in any danger at all. And uh, that's not simply not true. If I'm in danger, I'm gonna say it. If I'm not, well, I'm not. Okay, that's weird. I don't know where I am. Oh, now I do. I'm gonna wait for that. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, I am not uh, a big fan of false advertising. If stuff are gonna go bad, they are gonna go bad. But if not, I'm not gonna pretend that they are, right? And uh, yeah, on this map, if I remember correctly, UFO should be somewhere around here. I hope you can see that the mod is making graphics look better. I honestly have difficulty saying I think it looks better, but uh, really, what do I know? I look at the screen maybe once every five minutes. Well, I look at the screen all the time, but I don't pay attention to graphics, let's put it that way. This game could just as well be handmade in paint, and I wouldn't know the, the, any better. Where is my shotgun? Did I not, not take one? Oh right, I'm so I for <laughs> sorry, I set up the loadout some time ago before going for the mission. And I forgot that I gave the scout a heavy laser, a laser strike rifle, I'm sorry. Because uh, I'm going I'm intending to get this on uh, distance. What is that? Oh Well yeah, I was just saying that I don't believe in false advertising, so I'm not gonna pretend it's a complete tragedy. But I have no hit ammo or anything to deal with the cyber disk, I can't even see it. I know it's overwatching, so it's probably gonna try to attack me when I move somewhere. I need to get into a good position to deal with the drones, so I'm gonna get uh, my secondary sniper, Jovar Sharma, to move a little 
backwards like this, he should have some shots. Actually only one, but he might as well take it because sniper overwatches are just bad. I don't know if that's intended or is that something that just happens, but snipers suck at overwatching. Okay, Cook can either eliminate drone number one or try starting on drone number two. I'm gonna try starting up. Nice! Okay. Now I would uh, like to have my people safe if possible. Moving out. But there is still that fucking cyber disk which I don't know what's going to do. You know what I'm going to just keep Witchy over here if she hits that thing that that's fine. Nice. Means we only have two drones to worry about. I'm going to protect her with uh, a smoke grenade. I have to put a rocketeer somewhere useful. This Where should be guys? good. By putting him here I hope that uh, wherever the cyber disk is going to stand. And quite frankly I think this is the area that the cyber disk is going to uh, end in the turn. I think it's gonna come here and either it's going to go and toss a grenade at me or shoot at the mech. And by the way mech is coming here. On my way. I have to be sure that I am not uh, stacking my people because that would end bad. That would just end in a, you know, alien grenade coming at me. And that way, as I am spread out, I can uh, save my people some trouble. I think this is going to be the best configuration. I want to keep Shobande protected, but I also want to have some room to put some more people in the smoke, if necessary. I'll try to avoid it because it's half cover. Okay, Elena Duta, she is a gunner, so she can take a pretty nice cover in here. She doesn't have hit ammo because she's only a specialist, should I know that there would be cyber disk, I'd come equipped a little better perhaps, maybe even. I don't know about Typhoon, I don't want him to get hurt. I guess I'm gonna put him over there, I doubt that the cyber disk is gonna throw grenade that far and even if then it's not gonna do much damage. However, Typhoon is my one of two sources of heat, so I would rather he keep him not panicked and as much as uh, possible healthy. And where is the city? We got the drones, that's nice, but where is the cyber disk? And by the way, we can hear some sectoids. And shoot, 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 shoot. No! All systems remain operational. Okay, I guess it's fine. <laughs> yep, no problem. We have a wounded specialist and uh, a wounded mech. Neither of them are very important. I mean, the wounds, not the soldiers. Okay, so now, uh, since the cyber disk did uh, almost as I predicted, it uh, went off a little, but not that much. I'm going to shoot a shredder rocket at it, because I want uh, my following up shots to do some damage. Boom. Well, damage could be better, but you can't have everything. Now, I'm going to use my scout to holo target that fellow before I do anything else, because drones are irrelevant, let's just say that, but I want to have the ability to at least kill one of them. It's a giant gaping miss from the scout, but that is fine. Because now I have a holo targeting applied and the following shots are gonna be hits. Okay. The way it looks now, if I get a good shot at it, I have a chance to finish the fight right now. Almost. Well, that means I'm gonna have to waste a shot. But before I do that... Yeah, I want Poseidon to try and damage that drone, like this. So that the gunner could take a shot at it, perhaps. 
Or you know what, I'm gonna try to do it with a sniper, but that requires a little crucial part of a risk. But then again, maybe not. Actually, aye fuck aye it. Commander. I'm risking. Come on, pops. Be ba 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 da boom. Bye bye. Uh, I used the medic because that was my uh, least probable hit. He, he 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 was my least available damage, so I had to, uh, you know, sacrifice him if anything goes wrong. Also, he's a medic, so he can heal himself easily. And the other drone should be too far to hit him now. He would have to dash to have any re any real chance of doing anything to me. And yeah, I'm trying to work on explaining my tactics as I'm playing. Got something over what here. the hell? It's what a drone, drone, sectoid, sectoid, sectoid. Two drones, three sectoids are coming. So this is not going to be a particularly exciting mission. Well, it might get it might get exciting for me if something goes wrong. But right uh, the and way now. it looks now, all I have to do is to switch my battlefield. I'm going to start working on the newcomers. Out of ammo here. And uh, I suppose I'm going to move Poseidon somewhat. Then again, he's too far to grab any real cover, but uh, there are organic enemies and I want to be able to capture them, so I will figure out something. Until then, I'm gonna go and holo target the drone that still remains alive, but not before changing the battlefield a little. I have to switch positions. So this shot is purely for holo targeting. Mech is gonna start, have to start moving. Because, you know, mechs like to move it, move it. Now I have to move Cook so that he is now facing the other direction, but with holo targeting he has a good, ch a good chance of hitting and a very nice damage. Well, six. It could be better, of course, but it's not bad. Well, that could be better. So yeah, fine. Go on, Lena. And uh, right now you're saying like, what the hell, dude? That's a gunner, why did you waste him rather than use a pistol? I'm on it, Commander. Well, it's a gunner without heat ammo. So it is worth more for me to send out somebody else and put them on Overwatch somewhere, somehow. Especially considering that I don't really want to dash anybody to the right with uh, an already ongoing fight from the left flank. Because that would suck if something go wrong. Let's do this. But hell, I honestly do not think anything can go wrong. It's uh, sectoids and drones. So, seriously. What are they going to do? Bleed on me? All I have to figure out is a good way for Poseidon to go and capture them alive. And I think I found one. He's not in cover over there, but he's also out of sight for anything except the drone number one. And that's... he's going to be killed. And it would have to dash to do anything anyway. I hope. And... Uh, there you go, is Smilas gonna miss? Or not? But yeah, now I think the graphics look... Uh, improved, right? I haven't messed anything around with the settings uh, settings of the mod. I've just done did it. Come on, come on. Yeah! Oh ho ho! I did not see that coming. Okay, so everything is going swimmingly, that makes me think that I am forgetting something. I've just checked if I'm recording, yes I am. I am pretty stuck in here, I could go and get the melt, but I don't trust it. I'm sorry, I do not trust the, that Back melt here. indicator. 
it's indicating there is melt nearby because it wants me to go there and then I, dis I will discover some more enemies and I will feel bad about myself. I tell ya, this is happening. Now. So I'm gonna commit myself to go away from the melt. Ready to engage hostile targets. Away from temptation. Okay, Jovar is gonna stay where he is. Sheng is gonna kill that uh, the round. And now we see the sectoid. They do Eight have to down. come to me still. So, anyway. I think the sectoids are way too far away to be dangerous right now. I kinda wanna go and uh, discover where the meld is. So I'm gonna stop myself. And now Poseidon is gonna reload and then when there is no overwatch on the enemy side I can go and do something nasty. I can at least try to get a sectoid capture, right? Let's do this. Though on the other hand, is even I didn't kill any other living enemies other than the sectoid, so maybe I won't try to capture them because I don't need the sectoid capture for anything. The best thing I can do is to get some scientists from the council for it and a plasma pistol. So, meh. Ho ho! Psy Bunny! Oh, chain Psy Bunny can both start snipe. Oh, not everybody is a sniper. I'm sorry, but I think it's pretty funny. Uh, that's what happens when you take uh, newbies for the mission. I'm not gonna say rookies because I didn't take rookies, but they aren't the sharpest tools in the shed. I'm gonna toss a butter scanner to the right because that melt is over there and it's pretty annoying and I wanna see if there are many other enemies in there perhaps. Come on. Tap tap. Tap tap. Tap tap. There you go. That should do it. So did we discover something interesting perhaps? I would hardly think so. Come on. Nope, not anything. Not a single piece of meld has been found. That means we would probably not be able to get to it anyway. And that means Ismaila can now go to an I'm elevated position and fuck him up. And there is a sectoid overwatch. Oh no! I'm pinned down here. Luckily, Ismaila has a self repair system, so even if he would get hit. He wouldn't give a fuck. But I am going to kill myself a sectoid like this. Boom, one down, three to go. I suppose it is uh, probably a good idea to... You know what? Nah. I'm gonna set Poseidon over here, he's not gonna be visible from that position at all, so it doesn't matter that he's uh, not capable of conquering that or anything like that. Eyes peeled, Commander. But he's being protected by the medic overwatch and... Uh, that means he will be able to t toss a grenade next turn and uh, kill the sectoid's cover. As I've already mentioned, I do not want to try to get a sectoid captive, because if I'm to waste an arc thrower like that, I might as well try to capture an outsider and get at least a laser carbine and capability to take the more bases. But anyway, Cook has a 52% chance, I'm gonna... Uh, see, I was going to give that tree a chance to be alive, but the tree didn't want it. Well, that's what you get. Trees are ungrateful I'm bastards. And since I have a flank, I will probably just keep my grenade. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna shoot this guy. And the sectoid number three is going to die when trying to run away. Or is it? Let me just quickly check it. 
how many tyrants do I have? One, two, three. Yeah, that thing is dead. And that means I am going to get my people over here because the UFO should be where the fire is. And I will be moving from the elevated position towards the UFO. Because quite frankly it is going to give me uh, lots of heavy cover, it's going to give me lots of high cover uh, in the form of trees, it's going to give me lots of places to hide if things go to hell suddenly and I can uh, go back to the LZ. And uh, I should theoretically be able to enter the UFO without leaving the heavy cover of the forest for uh, more than a moment. Of course I could be totally wrong and that sectoid could just panic Shobanda right now and I would have to get everybody back. Nope. And seriously, I just thought no, that I could totally try and capture those guys but I don't think it's uh, making much sense for me right now. I've already have an interrogated and uh, everything else sectoid. Plasma pistols aren't as useful for me as plasma carbines from the outsiders. And in general, I think trying to capture something that is not a sectoid makes more sense right now. Alright, ah, now we see the mail. Let me just uh, find out if there is anybody looking towards it, if there is any monsters nearby. Yes, outsiders, what the hell? I have to go see it now, it's really the outsider pod. Oh ho 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 And did I say that this mission is gonna be peace easy? Well, I was wrong. Right now we see one, two, three outsiders and two sectoid commanders. I, uh... I'm suddenly considering just getting the fuck out. Like, seriously. I'm now, for the first time in forever, considering just falling back. Because this is gonna be ugly. We have uh, three outsiders, they have good aim and everything, plus they regenerate, so I will probably have to kill either them or the sectoid commanders. And sectoid commanders can do all the sectoids can Location do, plus they uh, deal more damage and they can mind control, so I will probably gonna have to kill them right th the fuck now and uh, quite certainly this isn't going to be an easy fight I do not have the firepower to deal with them before they have the time to deal with me that means I have to think what to do about them and I'm gonna think while I am uh, regrouping out there patrolling that's not good if they would be stationary I would just lure them into a trap mm -hmm. How about if I maybe try to activate them and then fall Any back? Location. If that's gonna work, then that's good because... Uh, well, because of reasons. Let me see. No. Come on, Mari, you can do it. Okay, right now, this is happening. Jovardo is too far away, where is Cook? Hook. There you are. Okay, I'm going to do it. Now check this out. I'm going to, of course, start on the sector on the sectoid commander because uh, really, what else? <coughs> Boom! Stop Damn patrolling. Nice, wrong. eleven critical. I like it. Boom! Look at them go. There is four, uh, no, three sectoid. <coughs> oh god, there is too many sectoid commanders and there is too many outsiders. And now Wichi is gonna wait until the, everybody else is ready. Okay, I'm now making my stand over here. They will have to approach me. They will take cover behind the trees. I will blow those trees the fuck up. And I'm gonna hunker Typhoon over here. Out of sight and hunkering down. He should be safe. I want a rocket over here, steady your weapon. You, my dear Jovar, perhaps can... 
take a shot. Yeah, where is the wounded sectoid commander? Right here, you can kill him. Please do it. Yeah, okay. That makes a risk uh, that much lower. And uh, the only place the medic can go is over here. And the reload as uh, is appropriate because she's gonna be safe now. Elena is going to level up with uh, Poseidon. Which is gonna get the fuck out. Like, what else did you think she's gonna do? And Poseidon is gonna hunker down, that way they should approach me and be in range. I want to maybe capture one, but I think I'm gonna kill them instead. Because this is uh, simply too dangerous. They are trying to outsmart me. You see, two of them are approaching up front, and that includes the sectoid commander, which I have to eliminate right now. Luckily, I can reach him with a rocket, like this. Come on, eat a rocket. Nobody it's tasty. I guess I could maybe try to take him alive, he could be useful for Psy research and stuff, but uh, unfortunately his bodyguards are behind him. If we could eliminate them before having to fight him, then that would be fine, we would do it totally, they wouldn't have a chance. But that will not be happening, so we will be using our long range capabilities to the fullest. No Damn it. And you didn't just fucking do it. Well. Lena, there you go. Dead and gone. Sometimes you need a specialist to do a man's job. Okay, so the other are guys are trying to come at me from a flank over here, which is fine. I totally accept it. I don't believe that this is going to be much of a threat, especially since Shobanda is now joining the fray. But I do have to overwatch a little, so that I can at least take a shot at them. Okay, that was lucky. I didn't want to have to shoot with Lena yet. But if I have no choice, then I have no choice. What can you do? Now, let's open up with a pretty nice holo target, like this. It, it doesn't uh, hit, but it doesn't have to. Then Poseidon is gonna start crawling for a victory. Hmm, I kinda want to use the grenade, but I might need it still. If I can avoid it, way. I will. 57, good enough. Come on, Shobanda. Damn it. You are going to hunker, my friend. Jovar cannot hit. On my way. Which is not my favorite position, so I'm gonna try to alleviate it. I still can't get a good shot, but maybe I will wound it. That's right. My weapon spent. Take it like a bitch. On Overwatch. I'm going to now suppress. This should uh, give me an opportunity to come up and then finish that guy off. I'm ready. Because Luke has to reload. It should make me safe, ish. Oh yeah. If that gunner would die, I'm totally fine with it. It's a specialist. There we have it, number two, and now the last one. My systems are still intact. Good, good. Ho ho. I'm all right. That's uh, gla very, I'm very glad to hear that. Uh, Shobanda is gonna regenerate a little bit, but uh, not as much as I would like. Okay, now we have our final rocket. What? Break the cover! Did it go completely? I think so. And that opens those two on the for a sniper fire. Back online. However, it's going to be a little reduced, because uh, half of my sniper extravaganza team has to reload. Oh, that would be such a beautiful capture. <laughs> well, 
Well, not gonna happen. Come on, Medicus. Jump into half cover and do nothing. Now you, my friend. You have to finish the job somehow. Moving. Okay, let's move the gunner a little forward. That should uh, let her kill it. Yeah. Nailed him. So you are going to holo target. Nice, I like it. A Yusho Bande should probably start thinking about uh, going to a flanking position and shooting this guy. What the hell? I didn't see that one coming. But that doesn't really mean all that much, we should still be able to take care of the job. But this time I will not shy away from using a grenade. Just have to make sure that nobody else gets hurt. I didn't uh, see this one. So I have, I have not uh, made a plan or a contingency for it, so I had to get rid of him. Okay, now this guy is gonna get shot by Shobande, when Shobande is uh, gonna get shot by the other guy. Got it covered. Should be fine. Contacts are attempting to retreat. Die, 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 die. It uh, survived. Amazingly. I'm out of ammo. Minimal damage I didn't want that to happen, but that means I'm going to use the flamethrower next turn, assuming that Shobanda is not gonna die now. Next status, yellow. Okay, time to get the fuck out. I still have a giant advantage over those guys, whether they like it or not. However, as you can see, Shobanda is on the uh, rest of his armor, and I can't have that, so. Sorry, outsiders, you are gonna have to die. If you can't, you are gonna have to die anyway. It's just gonna take more time. I'm going to ignore cover right now, they have no squad sight. Finish the job, Jobar. Ready, dude? Ready? Well, that means the medic has to finish the job. Great! I was start. Uh, I was starting to think nobody is gonna be willing and able. Well, that means I can't fall back for a healing, because if I do so, then Sh uh, Shobanda is gonna get hit in the back. Fired up. And that means it's a flamethrower moment. And that means... Uh, it's an alien grenade moment. I haven't taken any captives, but this is not a command pod, because it's not inside the UFO. So I can still have two outsider captives if I'm lucky, and trust me, I am never lucky, so I don't actually <laughs> try to get any captives. There is no mutants or heavy floaters, so I have no pressure on that. I'm ready. Okay, so now I'm going to heal Shobanda. Shobanda is healing himself a little bit, but I'm gonna help it. The meld is probably out by now, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to enter the UFO through this room over here, open the door, flash the outsider command pot, and then fuck him up. But first, let me take a selfie and gather up all my bitches. Okay, I'm sorry, that, that was very disrespectful. My soldiers aren't bitches. I just wanted to say that at least once during the campaign. 
even the specialists are valuable to me at this point because uh, I don't have anybody to replace them. I would have to train them from a rookie. And uh, as we are nearing 2016, this is starting to get more and more dangerous to try and do so. Moving on target location. So I value every single soldier like he was made of gold. Already there. Even if I sometimes have to melt them and sell them. Ten four. Snipers are going to catch up without reloading for now, but I will reload them before we enter the UFO. I'm gonna stay over there for a while. And uh, yeah, I know it's in the open. But I have to heal Shobanda, I have to reload everybody, and I'm pretty sure that by now the only enemies on the map is the command pod. Come on, time to cowboy up. So I do have to heal Shobande for one more reason. I want to use him in the alien assault, in the alien base assault, I'm sorry. And if he's wounded, hey. I can't do it. Heading out. I'm on okay, so now we're gonna just stand back, Rolling. reload everyone. It's killing time. Scanning. And we're gonna be going next turn, like this. I have no chances of getting the meld anyway, so anyway. Have I done that or not? Alt F8, now we should be going at one and a half times speed. Medic is going to be leading the charge because I okay. still need to heal Shobanda. Headed there now. I could also heal the gunner, but that's pointless. It's only one HP and any engagement is gonna be in close Good combat now. Okay, so let's uh, create a marching formation. I'm going to try to avoid the conga line because I'm... No, I know it's effective, but I think it's silly. Moving out. Look, mommy, I made a horsey. <laughs> Quiet. Did you hear something? Okay. Now it's uh, basically just um, marching. I'm gonna try to make it fast. But there is only so much you can make without uh, being careless and uh, it's XCOM, so if That's you are careless, you are going to just die. You're being careless, you're asking for it. Got it. Moving. And uh, I am the best person to say that because I've been hit in the bum very hard by the game so many times. For no carelessness. Way. I, there is, I don't have to uh, reach far to find the examples of that, all I have to say is uh, Zeus, right? <laughs> but so far I don't think we are in any danger, if there is any outsiders to be discovered, we will meet them and we will have time to react. Ah, damn it, I chose the room with an open door. Alright, fair enough, I'm gonna send Shobanda right now on that straight line and I'm gonna keep it. Okay. If we don't detect any enemies, I'm going to... Alright, now, now the only thing that can uh, okay. fuck up my game is uh, if by some bad luck we get some freak line of sight and we will discover the outsiders. I don't have to look for them, I have pretty good idea where they are. Simply because there is only a few spots they can hide in there, so... I take them all into consideration, and since Shobande moved and didn't detect anything, I'm pretty certain I can move everybody now along that line, and then set them in position next turn. Will do. And then we will be killing them. <laughs> Unless we can try to capture them.
so this is what I'm going to be doing. Shobanda is gonna stand Move up right down. in the front. I've got a visual. There you go. This uh, coerced obviously the outsiders to come over here. How are my shots? 63, 55, okay. This of course means that... Uh, Alright, Wichi doesn't have the proper equipment. That's too bad. Too bad indeed. But I hope Jovar does. He has a very bad shot, but I'm taking it. And I'm missing. Sheng is now going to be a very okay. important person. Well, not exactly right now, but she is gonna be a very important person very soon. Is By the way, uh, this place on the door is very dangerous one because it's a flank. Nobody says uh, nobody says it's a flank, but it is. It, I know it doesn't look like a flank. Okay, this is a holo target shot. I might need it for Shobanda. This is gonna be wicked if it only works. We are suppressing this guy now. I'm trying to get uh, myself in a position where I can safely try and capture one. Heading to that location. Which uh, is not as easy as it looks. We have a 37 and a steady weapon on a sniper. Hunker down on Typhoon because I need him to be not panicking and in full health. Now it's 73% shot, 55. I'm not going to take any risks, I'm going to use a flamethrower to damage this guy because uh, he's the only way I can reduce his aim. I am very certain that he's going to shoot at Sh Shobanda. If somebody put a flamethrower charge in my face, I would shoot them too. And the other guy, the one that we are suppressing and trying to capture, we will be flashbanging. And you know what, that's uh, all fine and dandy, but uh, it also hurts me a little bit that I know, deep down inside I know, that it's not gonna work. Not because of any particular reason, simply because I have a terrible, terrible luck. So anyway, which is going to now shoot the flanked guy. We should deal the exact amount of damage we need. Unless the shot misses. Of course. So it's time for Shobanda. It's probably gonna kill now, because why not? It didn't, wow. Well, let's make it a half-assed futile attempt to capture something, because why not? Wait, you know what? I might want to kill the other guy beforehand. If it is even possible, aha. Bloody hell, I won't I won't get it. It's not happening. No way. Yeah. It isn't going to happen. Now look at this. Unless I would take a grapple and move somewhere nice. No. I want to eliminate the other outsider before I come in and try to capture this guy, because otherwise Typhoon is gonna get shot and that sucks. That's a shortcut of what I'm Head taking right now. now. However, Jovar can take a very close range sniper rifle flank. <laughs> I'll be damned if it hits. Damn it! Enemy is still alive! Ah, it was a long shot. That's affirmative. As long as they come. But it now means that it's uh, a high chance that uh, the outsider is going to move to, the, to a different position rather than try to flank me. I don't believe it either, I'm sorry. 
I'm not going to risk uh, Typhoon's life over a so fucking unlikely chance to f uh, chance to kill. I mean, chance to capture. Not happening. Sorry. And neither is that fucking hit. Come on. All right, it hunkered down. I forgot. <laughs> Adjusting aim. Okay, that's just me being stupid and wasting shots. The Sadian is hunkering down. Okay, now he's gonna try to get out of flank like this. Overwatch fire is gonna miss. Nobody's gonna hit it. Okay, somebody hit it, but for a very little amount of damage. And the specialist sniper is gonna die. Or not. We need emergency evac! Now! Now, damn it! Now! Okay, now I have to finish the mission in three turns because, of course, the only person who has a medkit panicked. X ray neutralized. Come on, we have three turns, don't panic. Okay, this is what's happening. We are now suppressing this mofo. Could use some ammo over here. I have three turns, that's not a lot of time. I need uh, people in position to wound the last outsider because I want to capture somebody, for fuck's sakes. I know I have a f the worst possible luck oh. for that, but come on. I've even stopped paying attention what I'm doing just so and sacrifice a person just so I can take that uh, one no, chance. Sick. To get a capture. Battle. Even though I know that it's not happening. No way in hell. As I said, not for any reasons, but that's just on only because it's me. Okay, Igor. Like, seriously, game. You know what? Might as well. 9% chance to capture, take it. Yay, we didn't do it. I'm... I just don't believe I can capture this guy. The only thing I can get is to get myself more people wounded, more people dead, and that would be just pointless. I don't need him all that much, and it was not a perfect situation. It was far from it. It was very far from being a perfect situation, so... Frankly, I again made an elaborate plan of capture, pulled it off uh, almost to the letter just to have it spoiled by the random number generators and uh, let's keep it at that uh, without actually going with the other part of the plan. It is enough that I put uh, Jovar Sharma in the medbay for 35 days because of the trying to capture something and uh, yeah, there is... It, all that would follow is another pointless chase after the alien on the map that would end up in me not actually getting the capture. Because I would have to either uh, make people wounded or dead, or simply have put. <laughs> or I would simply have to put everything on one card, and I don't like to do it, especially when there is no real need for it. But anyway. Shredder rocket for Ignat if it is. Jovar, you can... You know what? Jovar can stay and uh, in the med bay and I will think about it. Pops, you can get yourself a smoke and mirrors. Lena Dutta is of course going to take... Actually, I don't have a holo targeting gunner, so you can take a holo targeting. And Poseidon is going to be taking extra conditioning because it would give him additional point of mobility and aim and will and that means he's gonna be awesome and he's gonna have a lot, uh, lots and lots of hit points and he's gonna be faster with the arc thrower anyway we got lots of alloys, some alerium, one meld three destroyed flight computers which is great we can sell them I'm more happy about the destroyed ones than the working ones, because I need the working ones for important things. 
and the broken ones are gonna be converted into rookies. Because my barracks look terrible. Look at it. Ta da! So, Wally, you wanted to be a, a Psy operative. There you have it. Mind fray. Come on. Why, why can't I put it uh, on you? What's up with that? Oh right, psionic training is still going to happen for <laughs> one more hour, which I forgot. Anyway, I'm gonna go and scan for the activity. I wanna shoot down that scout, but I really Contact can't. Detected. Three Stingray missiles and uh, no laser cannons. So, scanning. Psionic training is complete. View the results. Lie guy, success, congratulations, view soldiers, Wally, Psy abilities, mind fray. There you go, see you in a week. I'm not going to give up Psy ability to Sarah, because really why? Contact detected. Another scout? Another low flying scout, what the hell? I'm ignoring that contact. Commander. Our failure to respond to the latest UFO contact is sure to displease the Council. One of our top priorities is to maintain satellite coverage over the Council's member nations. Well, if Council can go suck my... Mm, monthly paycheck. And there is an ali aliens terrorizing Winnipeg. What do they want me to do about it? It's going to be a waterfront map, so it's a waterfront terror mission, so it's a... Mission I'm not gonna be taking. And there we go, finally, uh, small alien sniper. We are gonna go... Aggressive on its ass. I have probably the, all the chances in the world of taking it down with three interceptors. But I want to go we aggressive just to make sure that I can minimize it. If we get hit, uh, if the first round I'm not using the aim. Come on. Eaten up here. Come on, fall back. There you Disengaging. go. We pulled in a hit, so that's Contact good enough. Detected. Come on, Tale. I feel like I've wasted the aim uplink, but at least I got a hit on it. We're in pursuit. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Eject, Whoa. Eject, eject. That was Contact fucked up. Detected. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to order myself a new interceptor. Luckily that pilot had uh, no Enemy pegs on his, uh, under his belt. Not a single shot down, so the only thing we lost is actually money. Taking heavy fire. And we shot it down. There you go. So we have a next mission waiting for us. It's gonna be a training mission because look at that roster. And uh, I'm gonna get people in how many days exactly? Expand event list in nine days. Wow. So yeah, I'm going to probably take some uh, either exhausted soldiers or I'm going to wait or. I'm gonna go with a not full squad. But anyway, the next mission is uh, given for us. It's a UFO crash site. It's a fighter. The pilot of this craft has killed one of our pilots and that I cannot stand for. So we are going to go there. We are going to kill them all and make it a, on uh, maybe a real honest capture run. Who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, let me know in the comments and so on and so forth. And uh, see you again next time. Bye bye.